Welcome to the Daily Race. We are uh, starting today with uh, well, what we start with every day. Just one step forward. We're not running a marathon today. We're not sprinting. We are just being intentional in our relationship with God. And today we're going to reflect on Psalm 4. It's a Psalm of David. Uh, we just finished um, up our study on the book of Nehemiah. Tomorrow we're going to be starting a new study on the book of Ephesians. So today, today we're just going to, to pause here and reflect on this psalm. And uh, I entitled it, A Quiet Trust. A Quiet Trust. And it's the psalm starts off by reflecting on God's past faithfulness. And what does that mean for today? So, so let me read the, the psalm here. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. So he starts with, with asking for God's help, but in the midst of asking for help and in the midst of asking God to, to respond to him, he's remembering, uh, that David is remembering that God has helped him in the past. That stepping into the request with trust, with the trust of, of past help, um, is how he answers this. O oh, men, how long shall my honor be turned to shame? How long will, your, will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call him. Be angry and do not sin. Ponder in your own heart, on your bed, and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in God. In this situation, uh, what he's reaching out to, what he's crying out to God about is some people that have wronged him. Some people that have hurt him or slandered him, um, who are making him, well, frustrated. He wants God to respond to him. And he wants God to speak out. But he's reminded here, be angry and do not sin. That anger in itself is, is not a bad emotion. It's a natural response, right? We, we get angry when we feel hurt, when we feel pain, when we see injustice. But... We don't want to let our anger lead to sin. We can be angry with someone, um, but we can take that too far and begin to plot in our mind the bad things we want to happen to them. Um, we can take that into action. We can say things that we cause hurt and pain. We can do things that cause hurt and pain. We can cause revenge. All different types of things that, that anger can lead to. But here it says, be angry and do not sin. And then it gives a solution. Ponder in your hearts, on your bed, and be silent. <laughs> so, so think about this anger. Think about what's upsetting you, and and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> like don't don't speak it out. Just ponder it, reflect it. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. That we think about it, we capture it. That that being silent is is not acting on it, and trusting God. Say, God, you you're going to handle this for me. You're going to fight on my behalf. I don't need to go out and take revenge. I don't need to take this matter into my own hands. That's why I'm calling you here today, God. You've, you've defended me in the past. You've helped me in the past. These people are, are hurting me. These people are slandering me. These people are betraying me. And I'm angry about it, but I'm sitting here and turning it over to you. Verse 6, there are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain with their grain and wine when their than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. I, I like that this psalm here. It's just a, a quiet trust that there is turmoil going on, that there is betrayal and hurt and injustice and whatever the, the specific circumstances that, that David is, is talking about here. But we don't see him chasing after all this. We don't see him running it down. We don't see him trying to put out the fires and solve it. He's just came and he's quietly sitting before the Lord. And he's bringing his requests and he's being thoughtful. He's, he's thinking about how God has helped him in the past. He's being thoughtful. He's capturing his thoughts. He's not being reactive to them. And it, Every time he captures something, every time he captures a thought, every time he sits in an emotion, he brings that to God. He brings it to God as a sacrifice. He brings it to God as an act of trust. And because of this, it says, in peace, 
I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. That even in the midst of this turmoil, he can be in peace because he's brought it to God. How often are we, do we feel like we're in peace when there's relational conflict going around us? Not me. Man, I, I, I struggle with it. I, I think about it. I, I try to figure out how I'm going to solve it. I, I find myself anxious and upset and want it to go away. What a great passage here, a reminder of, of when we face that relational conflict, when we face uh, the difficulties in life, to bring it to God, to be thoughtful about it, to be quiet about it and bring it to him, to trust him in these situations. What a great, great reflection into the, the heart of someone, King David, the heart of someone who's going through difficult times and him opening up his heart and, and writing it down on, on paper so we can read it here 2,700, 2,800 years later. How amazing is that, uh, that we have that insight? Not only into God's commands, but through the Psalms, the emotions that go along with trying to live by God's commands. <laughs> That's what I love about the Psalms there. It's that inside look to someone who's really trying hard to do what God has called us to do. It's not perfect. doesn't do it right all the time. Sometimes it gets ugly in these Psalms. But sometimes in the situations like this, it's like, yes, yes. If, if I could respond that way, my life would be better. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning and we just want to start our day in peace. And God, as we are beginning this day, maybe there's some, some anxiousness. There's some worry about some conflicts and some hurt and some pain. And, and maybe we're going to see some of those people here today and it just has us uh, just turned all different types of, of ways to figure out how to manage that. But God, we, we're starting this day with you and we know that you're going to be with us every step of the way. And we trust you in these situations. God, we pray that we would just take every thought captive before we head into today. God, we give you our anxiousness. God, we give you our sense of, of justice. God, we place it all in your hands and we ask that you would act on our behalf. We pray that you would guide us and direct us in what to say and what not to say throughout the day. Lead us so that we would respond as your son Jesus would respond. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. All right. Well, hey, I hope you have a great, great rest of the day. I look forward to seeing you 24 hours from now, right back here on The Daily Race. Love you guys.